Hey guys, I'm Helen. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between the future simple and be going to when it comes to predicting future actions. Talking about these two ways of expressing future actions, the first thing that comes to the front is that they are different from each other by degree of confidence, as well as the grounds based on which a prediction or an assumption is made. The going to structure refers to a future action which may happen based on the evidence available at the present. That means that there is something at the present that prompted the situation to develop in such a manner that everything will inevitably, as the speaker thinks, come to the results predicted by the speaker. Let's take a look at the example. A boy borrowed the car from his mother and then gave it to his friend. The other guy damaged a rear-view mirror, or more precisely, he tore it off. My mother's gonna kill me! Now, at the present, there is literally an obvious reason which the boy thinks will eventually lead to the predicted action. That is, his furious mother giving him a good scolding. The cause and effect relation between the preconditions at the present and the predicted action is so obvious to the speaker that he is confident about the realization of his prediction in the foreseeable future. Let's take a look at another example. Imagine you have a friend who is jealous of her husband because other women like him. You are at a party and her husband starts dancing with another girl. You notice the expression change on your jealous friend's face. She is not happy and is heading towards the dancers. Knowing how your friend normally behaves under such circumstances and seeing how the situation is rolling out, you make a conclusion. This is not going to end well. So, in other words, you see a tendency at the present, the inevitable result of which you believe is the predicted future action. In the case of will, everything is not so evident, because an effect relation cannot be so readily established. Therefore, the speaker's degree of confidence is much lower. Currently, there is no clear tendency which might lead to the predicted action. The use of will implies subjective statements of the speaker on the possibility of an action occurring. The predicted action is not linked to the present. It completely refers to the future. Now, what is the basis for our assumptions in the case of will? When we use will, we make our assumptions based on our personal opinion, experience, data, facts, as well as logical inferences from the above. For instance, fortune tellers make their predictions based on what cards, or runes or other mumbo jumbo supposedly tell them. In most cases, you'll hear them use will in their predictions. Don't worry. Somebody you already know will become your sweetheart. You will marry him and you will have two children. The probability that predictions will come true is low. Let's say 50% depending on whether your fortune teller will guess it or not. More importantly, the actions often refer to some indefinite moment in the future. That's why will is used in such cases. Here is another example illustrating the use of will. Alice is devastated. She will not want to see anyone now. This prediction can be interpreted differently. For example, this may be a logical conclusion from the current situation. The speaker puts himself in Alice's shoes and assumes that she will not want to see anyone in such a state. However, it is only an assumption. It is subjective and is based on the speaker's conclusions. So he is using will to express a certain degree of doubts. The same assumption may be based on the previous experience. The speaker may have seen Alice in such a state before and knows that in such cases she never wants to see anyone. Nevertheless, the speaker has to express doubt 
since this time everything might be different. Interpretation depends much on the context. The records department is in the basement. They'll take care of it. Thanks. An example of an assumption based on facts can sound as follows. The phone is ringing and you can say, that'll be my mother. As you know, she promised to call approximately at this time. The use of will for making predictions can often be found in sentences with noun clauses after I'm afraid, I'm sure, I hope, I guarantee, and so on, as well as in sentences with such adverbs as probably, perhaps, maybe, of course, and so on, that express the subjective attitude of the speaker to a future action and reflect their certainty or doubt. For example, I hope you will like the present. Please note that expressions like I'm sure and of course do not necessarily express the speaker's genuine confidence that the action will actually happen. They are often intended to achieve a communicative target of the speaker, for example, to reassure the interlocutor. I'm sure she'll turn up safe and sound. Also note that will can be used to simply express future facts. The library will be closed at this time. Or winter will come soon. And so on. Will also has a lot more meanings of which I'm going to talk in the next videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.